Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. alaikum. My name is Salman and you are watching the Concept Academy by Dia Solution. So in this video we are going to add the repository. So let's just do this. First I'll go to the repository folder and add an interface for the repository. And I'll name it as I comment repository. So as we have already have a video on the repository pattern that what is repository pattern so I let's just I repeat by writing the code uh, repository pattern is basically a, a pattern which is used to decouple the uh, business layer and the data access layer so that that data access layer can be the anything uh, you know where your data storage code is written like it can be entity framework or it can be a web service or anything any data source so right now we are going to add an interface for the repository i comment repository and i'm defining the methods in uh, definitions that uh, first method will be get comments by the user id it will take the user parameter uh, as an input user id and give all the comments of that user here is another method get uh, comment by post id it will take the post id in the request parameter and return all the comments on that post and the third one will be task mm, comment entity and this will be for adding the comment add comment okay fine and the next definition is edit comment uh, for which we can edit the comment in in the database or our record let's just create it pass the object as uh, a parameter comment entity and now we are done with the interface of the comment repository let's just create the class for that uh, repository so I'll name it as comment repository and I'll implement this interface to this class and implement interface and all the method will be here with the uh, without the body throw new uh, not implement exception exception so I'll remove all this code and write my own logic to fetch or get the data from the data access layer so let's just add the constructor CTOR double tab you will have a constructor and in the previous video we have added the database context so I'm injecting that database context in the constructor of comment repository first let's just add uh, the private uh, field for this or the database field uh, private read only i context and don't forget to use underscore while declaring this field private field always uh, have this kind of naming convention and let's just inject and underscore comment context is equals to comment. we are done now I'll be using this context throughout all the methods first let's just go to the get request so we don't want to have much long video so in this video we'll just do what will uh, be done with the get method first return all the comments from the database so return context comment dot comment is the table name or collection dot oops actually I'm quite habitual of NDD framework so I'm expecting where method of the link I think it's not uh, used in the MongoDB because I'm not using NDD framework 
I'll be using a, some kind of another method okay that is find a sink and lambda expression mm -hmm. alright let's just remove this and add all no 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 this okay I just added this line filter definition build a filter comment entity and for which I am filtering I'll added this I am filtering this by added by and added by means user ID so let's just add this filter in the find method so this is the way to filter a record that we normally do in the link query by using where clause and make it as a sync await so if this is an, an asynchronous call so this will be done we are done with the one method which takes one parameter that is user id and return all the uh, comments of that user now let's just copy and paste mm -hmm. and change the filter from the added date to the post id and this will be replaced from here and make the call async asynchronous so the error will go off okay uh, you know while defining the this I made a mistake the post ID should be long I was declared uh, declared it as int and there might be some memory issue in the future if I made such kind of video um, such kind of mistakes while defining the data models so I refactored or corrected this okay this is giving still errors because I didn't mark as a sync here we go we are good with that now let's just go to hmm. we are done with the all get both get method now it's time to care for the post calls add comment now uh, create the body for this and there will be not much code this is the parameter comment entity oh, why to bind mm -hmm. I should not buy I can you know directly do this comment underscore comment context dot comments dot insert uh, uh, dot insert method insert one because this is the one record insertion and at the all oh, right we are done with this okay let's just check uh, save is that data in, uh, in the data variable and return this mm, actually this overload returns task mongo collection let's just remove this mark is as await and as sync asynchronous make, make it as asynchronous call right we are done okay and we are not returning anything right now so I'll uh, better to remove hmm let's uh, return the comment but it's not fine to return the same thing which I took from the parameter that doesn't make sense alright Uh, okay okay let's just uh, uh, ignore this for a while we'll refactor or fix this later okay now come back to the edit comment war up 
updated result equals to comment context dot context comment dot replace one this is the way to add it a record in the mongodb driver methods let's say that the lambda expression and filter by the id and match it from the comment id which is provided in the request parameter okay and once we acknowledge the result that record is updated we'll return okay now remove this because we are not returning anything from over here so we don't make our logic fuzzy logic of you know so let's just remove and make it as task and make it as boolean if uh, you are succeeded to uh, edit the comment the boolean will be returned and updated result mm -hmm. okay we're done and uh, let's just change this as boolean dot is modified count dot uh, is greater than zero that means your record is updated and let's just return okay and right make it as a synchronous call yep uh let's just correct this we don't have to write the result when while writing this so let's just commit the code and push so that's all for this video if you i hope you like the video if you really like then please like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video till then half is and let's just push the code so we can work tomorrow